Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. Sometimes you may want to select every nth polygon in order to create an effect like this. But how can this be done? It's actually quite simple. Let's start from here. Here I've got a polygon selection and a material applied to that polygon selection. So now if we select the polygon selection and check use fields, we have got the fields list. Now we need a way to address specific polygons here. And this can be done by using the formula field. Please don't be afraid, it's actually not that complicated. So let's create a formula field first. And let's deactivate the freeze field. And of course, by default, we have got this quite intimidating default formula. But once you unfold the variables here, you can see that we've got the component index here, which is the ID, which means you can address the polygon ID here. And let's do this. So in this field, we type ID equals zero. They are starting from zero. And now let's find the polygon with the ID zero and it's up here. So if we adjust it to be one, this is polygon number one, this is polygon number two, and so on. But how can we select, for example, every third polygon? Let's have a look at the help. Here we've got a list of all formulas or of all functions that you can use inside of the formula field or formula effector. And there's one called modulo. I will explain to you what the modulo does. So here we are back in our classroom in primary school and we want to divide several numbers by three. And dividing zero by three is zero, dividing three by three is one, six by three is two, and so on. That's no problem. But if we wanted to divide one by three or two by three, that was a bit more difficult because we didn't know decimals yet. So what we actually did is we said that one divided by three is zero, but there is a remainder of one. And if we divide two by three, there's a remainder of two. This goes on and on. And if you have a look at that sequence, it is zero, one, two, zero, one, two. So what we are looking at is the remainders and the remainders are actually what we call a modulo. So how can we use this inside of Cinema 4D? Here we've got a very simple scene just with some matrices in a row and you see that every single matrix has got a unique ID starting from zero and going to 21 in this case. And we also have got a formula effector and once we activate this and select it, you see there's also this very intimidating default formula. But what we can do now is we can use the modulo function. So let's type in mod and then we open the brackets and type in ID semicolon we want to divide the ID by three and close the brackets. And now we've got a sequence here. We've got 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. And this will continue until infinity. And if we say this formula should equal like zero, we affect every third clone. And this is exactly what we want also in the initial example with the polygon selection. So let's jump back. So here we are back in our initial scene and let's type in the formula here in the formula field, which is mod, open the brackets, the ID of the polygon, semicolon, and we want to divide everything by three. And if this equals, if the result equals zero, we select every third polygon here. And that's actually the whole thing. It's not too complicated. So now we can, for example, also use the polygon selection, not only for material assignment, but also inside of the bevel deformer here. And here I've got one that extrudes the whole thing. And here I've got another one that bevels the edges here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.